Um, Steph, specific question for you, because um, there might be people here also who don't necessarily want to become a founder, but are interested in working in a more entrepreneurial environment. Um, do you have any advice for actually applying for a job in a startup as opposed to applying for a job in a corporate? Yeah, there's a really good company that's just raised a round of investment and they're hiring for like 10 roles in January. They're called Go Sweat. Um, and uh, so if you're looking for a role in sales, design, marketing, um, tech, pretty much like everything under the sun, um, you can meet a couple of us here today. But yeah, there's um, there's quite a few roles that we've got going. So there's a thanks for the plug. But um, yeah, you'd really help on our recruiters fees. Um, and uh, yeah, we, 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 we obviously are pretty, pretty cool people to work for. Yeah. And with that, actually some advice on when you apply for a startup. <laughs> so when you apply for a startup, like how do you think you should approach it in a different way from applying for a corporate job? Okay, so I really feel really hot off the press here because I did 15 interviews today. Um, and so I think the main thing, obviously having applied for a corporate job and like gone through all the hoops and everything you have to do there, it was very much like, I, I literally got asked, what was your relationship like with your stepmom when I was applying for Aldi? Like weird questions. Um, whereas when I, one of the questions I was asking people in an interview today was like, how would you describe Instagram to your grandma? Um, and I think like taking people outside the box, I think you have to expect that when you're applying for a startup. It doesn't necessarily mean like you can just throw um, all of like, you look much, much smarter, for example, than, than a lot of the people I interviewed today. And I think that's nice. Like, I still wanted to feel like they'd made an effort. Somebody looked like they'd just got out of bed. And I think applying for a startup doesn't necessarily mean that like you just throw all caution out the window. But um, there is an element of being a bit more down to earth. You want to know a bit more about them than just what they got for the GCSEs or the fact they did Duke of Edinburgh. Um, but um, yeah, I think researching definitely obviously about the startup because especially if you're speaking to one of the founders they're going to be pretty passionate about it somebody said to me today as the, like, the last question um, um so can you just explain to me like what goes sweat is and like what you what, what you do and i i was really pissed off by the question right at this point i'd done about 14 interviews and i was especially because you can just google it um and so i said well you you kind of fill in the blanks and i think like if you're applying for a startup and you're uh, talking to anyone there that you you have to be passionate about the company that you're going to be wanting to work for i um it's that meaning you it's, startups can't pay market rate you're, you're going to probably take a hit on your salary like it's just going to happen but you're buying into the culture you're buying into that meaning like we literally want to change a case where how employers and employees connect um and so yeah i think probably passion to sum up all of my waffling 